Hi, superstars. It is time for English. Get out your wonders reading book for unit two. We are talking about shapes all around us. All right, we are on page 23. So open your books. We are talking about shapes all around us. So let's turn our page to 24. Okay. We are going to say the name of each of these pictures and we are listening for the t sound. T. Can you say t? That's the sound, the letter T makes. All right, let's look over here. Repeat after me. Toothbrush. Do you hear the t in toothbrush? Turkey. Do you hear the t in turkey? It's the beginning sound. Tiger, t tiger. Do you hear that t sound at the beginning of the word? T. Now we are going to listen for the t, but it's not going to be at the beginning of the word. It's going to be at the end of the word. So repeat these words after me. Cat. Cat. Do you hear the t at the end of cat? Nut. Nut. Do you hear the t at the end of nut? Net. Net. The t is at the end of net. All right, let's read these words here. At. Do you hear the t sound? It's at the end. At. Mat. Mat. The t is at the end. Pat. Pat. Do you hear the t sound? The t at the end. Tap. Tap. We hear the t at the beginning of tap. Sat. Sat. Do you hear the t at the end of sat? Tom. I'm sorry, it says Tam, silly. Tam t is at the beginning of Tam. All right, I want you to practice reading those words and naming those pictures. And I want you to listen for the t sound and say if it's at the beginning of the letter, the word, I'm sorry, or at the end of the word. So listen for t. Let's look at the next page here. And we have the word like. That is a spelling word <clears throat> and a high frequency word, like. Let's read the first sentence. We like pizza. Read it again. We like pizza. I like the tent. I like the tent. Make sure you're practicing. Let's go to page 26 
And let's read the story. We like Tam. And I want you to read it with me. So let's read this again. We like Tam. There is an exclamation mark there. That means we say it with excitement. We like Tam. That's what the exclamation mark tells us to do. Let's start on page 27. I want you to read with me. Tam can see Pam. All right, let's read it again. Tam can see Pam. What is Tam doing? Well, we know who Tam is because Tam's name is on his little aquarium. So the hamster or the guinea pig, it looks like a guinea pig. It looks like the guinea pig is looking at Pam. All right, let's turn the page. All right, we're on page 28. Read with me. Tam can see Sam. Read it again. Tam can see Sam. What is Sam holding? We know this is Tam, so this little boy must be Sam. And what is he holding? What is that? It's a toy with a bell for Tam. All right, let's continue reading to page 29. Sam can tap the bell. Read it again. Sam can tap the bell. Let's turn our page. We're on page 30. Read with me. Tam can tap, tap the bell. Let's read it again. Tam can tap, tap the bell. What object is Tam tapping? The bell, that is correct. Tam is tapping the bell. All right, let's read page 31. We like Tam. Let's read it again. We like Tam. Here's one of our high frequency words. We is also. All right, let's turn the page. All right, we're going to read another story and it's on page 32. The title of this story is, I Like Sam. Okay, let's read it one more time. Make sure you're reading with me. I like Sam. All right, do you see any of our high frequency words or our spelling words? There's I and there's like. Those are two of our spelling words. All right, let's read on page 33. Sam can pat the cat. Let's read it again. Sam can pat the cap. Do you hear the t sound in pat? The t is at the end of the word pat. Let's turn the page. 
We're on page 34. Read with me. Sam can pat the ball. Sam can pat the ball. What is Sam patting? He's patting a ball. Let's read page 35. Sam can tap the drum. Read it with me. Sam can tap the drum. What round object is Sam tapping? A drum, that is correct. He is tapping the drum. All right, let's turn our page. We are on page 36. Make sure you're reading with me and pointing to each word as we read it, okay? Sam can tap the nut. Sam can tap the nut. Which word do you hear the t sound at the beginning of the word? Which word? T tap. You hear the t at the beginning of the word tap. There's a word that has the t at the end of it. Which word has t? at the end. Nut. Do you hear the t at the end? All right, let's read page 37. I like Sam. Read it again. I like Sam. There's an exclamation point at the end. And here is one of our sight words. And this is one of our spelling words also. All right, let's turn the page. Let's go and read page 38. So Maria here is going to write about the text. So she answered the question, how is Tam taken care by the class? How is Tam taken care of by the class? So do you remember the story? Little kids were taking turns taking care of Tam and Tam lived in their classroom. So he was their class pet. So to answer that question, Maria wrote, they give Tam a home. And that's how they take care of Tam. Now, we are going to write details here. And that's what Maria did. It says, I told about how Pam cares for Tam. I told about how Pam cares for Tam. Pam pats Tam. The class loves Tam. All right, let's look at this grammar here. So we're talking about a verb. A verb is an action word. The word pats is a verb because when Pam pats Tam, Pam is doing an action by touching Tam. So Tam, Tam pats, oh, I'm sorry, Pam taps. Pats Tam. Boy, I can't even read this. It's like a tongue twister. Pam pats Tam. So, P 
cats is a verb because it's telling us what Pam is doing. She's patting Tam. So a verb is an action word. It tells what action you are doing. So the verb in this sentence is pat. All right, superstars, I want you to practice reading. I want you to be able to read without any difficulty. So practice reading with mom or dad or an older sibling. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.